Let's get ready. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Warming up those hands. No, okay. Hey guys, welcome to the March 2021 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where my family and I try everything in this month's keto crate. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first crate. Okay, guys, this was a great keto crate because it mostly included like items we already know we love. Plus, um, some new different flavors of things that we want to try, and then some items that like I've never heard of before. So okay, I'm really excited. Cool. So the first thing we're gonna do, as usual, is start from savory to sweet, okay. which there is a lot of sweet this month. Like so many bars. Please Hashtag bars. Please be good. Oh, there's some that we already know we love. So that's gonna be good. Okay, but we're gonna start with this uh, big fork craft pork start, stick. Start with the best. Mm, that's not what's happening. Exactly. Start in the fork the seat. So, out of the so way. you start to first class and then you so, work your way to coach. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. You start in first class we'll and you never back, agree. you're like, you're in the cargo we'll hold. We'll never <laughs> agree here. The cargo <laughs> hold? <laughs> you were the bag. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's in the cargo <laughs> hold? The, my, the sweets? Let me find my food and Absolutely not. Okay, guys, so I have this little bit uh, piece of, it's just original. Okay, original. I mean, it's original. Who is it by? The company? Big Fork. Big Fork. Okay. okay, all right, go. Nope, nope. Yes. I mean, it's good. I mean, Honestly, it's good though. The flavor is not bad. Well, think about. I just do not like that texture at like all. A, like a nice, juicy piece of pork belly or something like that. Mm. Belly, the word mm. belly. I just, I, love it. I don't agree. You're not describing the same thing. Uh, okay. Right. Tier three. Two. One. Nice. We killed this. I know. Blast off. I mean, this is also juicy as well for those. That's what I'm saying. Love. I didn't really like that. Like there was definitely like a, like a burst yeah, so of those something. Yes, you love actual meat. I didn't like the actual meat. No, yes. not at all. Okay. Next, we are going to try super seeds, somewhat spicy seeds. So these are pumpkin uh -oh. seeds. You know, okay. like if I get Some like nuts and seeds, I gen generally like them to be sweet, but spicy is the next best thing, hopefully. Okay, all right. Give you a little porsky. What does it look like? Okay. Okay. They literally just look like pumpkin yeah. seeds pumpkin yeah. seed, covered in some sort of dust. Dusted exactly. In something. Oh, dusty pumpkin seeds. seeds. Oh, no. Here, put them up there. Could be on face. Mm, love it. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. That is somewhat spicy. <laughs> I was like, they are somewhat spicy. Mm -hmm. I just don't really like the flavor of those. Mm. I would rather have plain salted pumpkin seeds. Yeah. But they are somewhat Ooh. spicy. Yeah. No wonder my mom is losing it because she can't handle spice at all. Oh, yeah. No, Lord, it's not that spicy. It's either. not that no, spicy. Not even, no, no. Uh, that means it's definitely They're not. The back kick. Not. No. The back kick. I got kicked oh, in the back. No. Right. Like, out of 10, it's a it's a, it's it's a three a, and a half out of 10. Yeah. Wait a minute. The way on spice wise? Or yes. Hurting? It is a 7.3. No. That is false. I would say that's how my mom looks at it, though. Like my mom would definitely Thank point you. these like a 9 out of Thank 10. I knew Miss Deborah was amazing. These are on fire. No. Okay, so. They're okay. I, I mean, just like, I don't need that flavor. That is a definite tier three for me. It's a tier me. three for, yes, yeah. it is a tier three. Tier See, three I for me. I like the aftertaste, but Ew. I would say, I mean, it's like, I like the spicy. I'm still getting that nice little, mm -hmm. right there in the back of the thing. Absolutely. <laughs> me too, but, so um, since that. Mm, oh, no, God. No, I would say, I would say tier three, just because I don't, I'm normally not around pumpkin seeds. Yeah, I have like a seed person. Got but it. I really did like it. Got it. Okay, next we have Bunker Hill Brick Oven Pizza Crunchy Cheese Crisps. Oh, okay, so these are just like uh, cello wisps, but thicker. So, mm -hmm. and these, these, I know, right? These supposedly are supposed to taste like brick oven pizza. Oh, and I like it. Oh, I do enjoy a good brick oven. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. look at the. Girth. That's the exact word I was gonna use. Mm -hmm. But like I said, they're like if you if you stacked two to three cello wisps on top of each other. Yes. Yeah. Sad. So they're they're really mm -hmm. thick and crunchy. Viscosity. No. Right. No. That's not the word. Okay. Yeah. Dag. Okay. Here go. We go. One hundred percent. Not a big crunch. No brick oven taste at all. No yeah. brick oven pizza. They're just delicious. Yeah. I mean, they're good. I 
It's definitely the same. Mmm. Look at that hint of some pizza ish. There is some like I mean, brick oven is on. tomato mm -hmm. yeah. powder. Yeah. It'll be the Totino pizza as well. That's hilarious. You get the pizza ish. Yeah, you get like a tomato powder sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I think I would honestly love the just the simple cheddar cheese version yeah. of that. Like yeah. because it is so thick and crunchy and the cheese flavor would be great, but I'm not a fan of this That's particular powder coating. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I give this a tier three. I, I'm gonna go with it too. Yeah, I'll say three as well. Hmm. Okay, next we are going with something that I know we love, this high low life piece of pizza. Let's stay on the pizza train, oh this high low life piece of pizza. So this is that like cheese and nut mix. It's like a moon cheese with like Ooh, some, some nuts. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like combo, combo yes, pack. exactly. And just like last time, okay, I feel like all of the walnuts sunk the to the bottom. bottom. Yeah, let me take yeah, take a couple of them. A piece of that. Assortment. Yes, of, of yes. puffs and yeah, nuts. Nuts mm -hmm. one. Puffs and nuts. Okay, let's go. There we go. Mm. For some reason, mm. I like this pizza flavor a lot better. Mm. That's good. I like the flavor better, but the texture. You don't like it? Right. Right. Okay, man. I think I just had two bad pieces to start. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that third one was a lot softer. Okay. Like I had like, um, well, know, they're supposed to be crunchy like moon cheese. We're just doing pork rinds. We got that one just a really hard oh. at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. I no. I started off with those two. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was yeah. like, no, that third okay. one was a lot softer. So first of all, I love them separately. Mm -hmm. So I love the cheese puff and I love the walnut mm -hmm. separately. Mm -hmm. And then I loved them together. Oh. That was God. really good. I still get it. I get a tier two. Yeah, I mean the the pizza flavor I, I enjoyed a lot better. It's still a tier two for me. Like I'm not going out of my way to purchase them, but those are delicious. I would definitely grab four of those. So the next thing we're gonna try, I think the last savory thing, we do keto, um, everything crackers. Like never heard of them, right? Never like we've heard never heard of them. Too so many words. Oh, here, let's mm. go for it. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm. I've never heard of these. I always think when you're going to rip at your elbow, just going to get caught out of bam. I'm like, okay, I'll be I right. hope that mm, never happens. I'm <laughs> so the sorry. Is always right -handed. These are interesting looking. I don't, am I calling this a cracker? Mm. Ooh, look at these. It's definitely more of a biscuit. Like, if you were, like, if we were getting our, like, Great Britain on and we were, like, going mm -hmm. to England, this is a classic. Hold it up. Yeah. Hide your face. Babe, just hide your face. What, what are you doing? Hide your, I can't see anything. You, can't, you don't have your glasses on, my honey. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely a biscuit. Like, this is exactly, yeah, this is just a flat, thin, mm -hmm. no rising agent at all. Like, how you bake this is how it stayed. Mm -hmm. Okay, let go. Okay. Real consistency. It is not. That's crunchy. Right. And as, you like our crackers. Yeah. I mean. If you want to try another one, too. Okay. It's not as crunchy. Mm. That's why the flavor's not really. Is it, mm. Are there any fla any type of flavor? Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah, it's like an everything bagel. So that's where you see them. It's like salt, pepper. Sesame seeds, garlic, onion, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds, rosemary. I mean, it actually, is something. I taste rosemary the most. Yeah, mm -hmm. like if, if this was like, if, even if I have like cream cheese or something, yeah. you know, they but. crackers. Yeah, they yeah. are definitely supposed to go with something. Mm. I mean, tier three, because I'd have to eat them with something, the flavor is not bad at all. But like, the, I, I just wish it was a little crispier. Like, I feel like yeah. if you bent, bent it, it, it wouldn't right. snap. It right. would just be, you know. So, uh, hmm, I mean, not bad. Tier three, like I said, I'm not going out of my way to purchase three those. for me as well. I'd probably say a four. Oh, you don't like those? them? I mean, not that I don't, you don't, don't have a like reason them, to ever eat them, ever. I would, yeah, I was like, I'd probably get something else yeah. that's this and anything else on the shelf. Mm. Is that thing? Yeah, good to know. They're not bad, but they're just yeah, not just... not our jam, you know? You okay, so now we are moving into the sweet portion of the keto crate, and we will start with something that we all know we love. Mm, yes, we keto do. Keto crisp bars. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh Richard, my I told God. everyone how these were your favorites. Oh my how the almond butter and chocolate chip were the best, but this is the, the regular almond butter is yeah. great too. So this is what a Keto Crisp bar looks like. 
You can see it has like the little protein nuggets in it and stuff like that, but I just love the texture. I had a chocolate mint yesterday. Yeah, see, he had a chocolate mint oh, yesterday just as a wonderful. snack, you know? Okay, let go. Yeah. Tier one, because I have bought these with my own money. Before. Yeah. I love the protein crisp texture mm -hmm. um, and the flavor, the almond butter. It just tastes like delicious, sweet almond butter. Like, mm -hmm. I am definitely yeah. a fan. I mean, it always gives me, again, like, it gives me a little cross between the, um, like a Nestle's Crunch feel mm -hmm. mixed with like a Reese's cup or a Reese's pieces. Because of the peanut butter, mm -hmm. like the almond butter flavor. So it's mm. uh, I'm definitely tier one. Mm. Tier one, I have bought them with my own money. Mm -hmm. I'd really say tier one and a half, like definitely buy worthy. I just don't know if I ever have, but like the flavors of those are great enough. Mm -hmm. Actually, who am I kidding? You can get a discount on your taste can do slash a Keto Crisp bar. I have a discount code with them. I will put okay. that right here. Yay. They are delicious. Definitely buy to try. The almond mm -hmm. butter and jelly? Oh, yes. That so good. So the good. almond butter and jelly and the mm -hmm. almond butter chocolate chip are my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Like They're all great. They're all good, Go yeah. for it. Next, guys, we have a Jimmy protein bar. Mm -hmm. I'm a little skeptical because we haven't had great luck with Jimmy in the past. We have not. No. Jimmy really always... Um, the bar, the flavor of the bar never matched what was on the inside. So this is macadamia nut. Right. Let's see if it looks anything similar. To, we'll once again, chocolate chips. All right. It's not macadamia nut chocolate chip. It, but however, there are chocolate chips That's in here. Exact same chocolate. thing as last yep, time. Exactly. Exact same thing. I don't know why. It no, it does not say. Are we just right. supposed to inherently know that all yeah. Jimmy bars contain chocolate chips? It just says grain and gluten free. I don't bottom. know. Okay. It Here's doesn't. yours, Richard. It okay. So let's go. With chocolate. I don't like that texture. Okay. Not bad at all. It says chocolate coating. Dark chocolate coating. Exactly. But, but there's nothing right. about no, chocolate. About the, the label. It okay. says macadamia nut. Like, oh, gee, you are right. That is the part that annoys me the most, is that they always put chocolate chips in there and they never mention it on the front. That might I mean, be a selling point to some folks. That's what I'm saying. Chocolate chip macadamia. I don't, I don't really know scrumptious. what macadamia nut tastes like. I don't know if that was really strong macadamia. Yeah, I was like, Honestly, I don't know yeah. if it was really strong chocolate coating. I like, mean, Jimmy bars are what? just Jimmy bars. Well, I mean, I, I'll give that in a 2.5. Yeah. I mean, it's a tier three yeah. for me, just because, no, like, I definitely don't I have don't to agree. have it. It is so. a three for me as well. It's a three for me, dog. Okay, guys, next we are going to try the cookie department okay. mint condition. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we love us a mint oh condition. Yeah. So this is a chocolate uh, a cookie mint cookie. cookie. Yeah, it's a big, it is a big cookie. This is the same uh, company that made that... Cakewalk. You remember the one that was just like an almond flour cookie that had the, the blue sprinkle on it? Oh, yeah. And we were just yeah, like, oh, blue that. sprinkles. Okay. This cookie, even though it did break, it was my fault, not their fault. It is a very nice size cookie, right? Hopefully it has some minty taste yes. to it. Yes. Here you go. I, I know the chocolate is chocolate. I know Richard wants the smallest bite ever. Thank you. Okay. Yes. All right. It's delicious. It's delicious. I love it. But similar to the first one, it does have the cooling effect. Like, that's kind of partially hidden by the mint, and it that also naturally has a cooling that is effect. That's so true. How you just explain that? I'm thinking what you're saying. No problem. But no, it is. It's exactly what's going on. But that's delicious. Not, not overpowering enough for me to be like, ooh, it's too much. But, like, you do notice it's there. Mm. But the chocolate and the mint flavor it's definitely like up, offset. Up. This is a tier. Like this is a up. tier two for me. If you're giving this to me, I am definitely eating it. No. Yeah. All right. I'll say, I'll say mm. it's a tier two as well. I like just because that. it's subtle enough. The chocolate's not overpowering. One and a half. Knock you over your the head chocolate head. is not overpowering. Honestly, what I get the most from that is mint. And I really like it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. One and a half. Anything okay. That chocolate. cooling effect thing was described so perfectly. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, something I don't know if we've tried before. Keto-wise, chocolate pecan clusters. Mm. 
I'm okay, excited about these. The yeah, like, mm, girl boo. <laughs> these are not the, the best ingredients at all. Like, no, I would not. It's probably going to be sweet and delicious like regular candy. Exactly. They're going to taste like regular candy because I'm just like, prebiotic, soluble fiber, polydextrose, vegetable oh, okay. oil, yeah, yeah. you know, oh, okay. um, like a carrageenan. Kernel. Just a bunch of stuff where I'm like, I'm definitely not having that every day. Like, corn fiber. Oh. What's the name again? Keto Slim? Keto Wise, so which keto I'm like, wise. you wouldn't be too wise to have this all the time. Yeah, exactly. um, but I bet it's going to taste good. Yeah. Okay, here, okay. you can have this okay. one. Clearly, yeah, there was a caramel a caramel square that they draped chocolate over. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, hide your, hide your wife. Mom, you're not yeah. supposed to take one. Right on the inside. Literally, I cut it in half so they can see the inside. They, so no, okay. You see that? I got you on oh, that wow. too for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a turtle. Yep, yeah, it's a turtle. Taste wise, it's a one. Turtle, turtle. But you don't want. But mm. I would not purchase it or would eat it because of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. I mean after this. That's so good. So those taste just like they cost the same. The Choco Right bars that I get from Meyer. Oh nice. Like whenever I'm like planning to have a yellow day and I know that I'm finna get some snacks. In Meyer, in the in the quest section where they have all the other diet foods or mm -hmm. you know, keto sugar free foods, they have this brand called Choco Right. And they also have caramel pecan clusters. They are so good, but the ingredients are so bad so it like spiked my blood sugar like 35 points you know i was just like this isn't Yay. keto and it's in the diabetic section you know and i'm like y'all ought to be ashamed me. yeah they taste just like that because it's just like all bad ingredients yeah. you know so, so it was delicious the texture was great the chocolate was great it was all great but right. if i did a blood sugar test on that yeah, i know right. it would be all bad okay next we're trying something we all know we love wow. monk pack Keto nut and seed bar, dark almond. What? What did I say? No, dark chocolate. No, coconut almond, dark oh, chocolate. You need me to help you. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. Coconut almond, dark chocolate. So this is just like a kind bar sort of situation mm -hmm. where it's like a lot of texture on top and then you have like a chocolate coated bottom. I love these. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. Mm. I'll wait. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The texture, the flavor. Mm-hmm. It's chewy. Mm-hmm. But it's crunchy. Mm-hmm. Chocolatey. Mm. I taste the coconut. Mm. I actually like those. Tier That's one. So good. one I think I have bought them with my own money. If good. not, I would definitely yeah. buy them with my they own are money. They're so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Love monk pack. Okay. Mm. Pin ultimately. Oh no, we have another bar in here. Okay, good. Well, see, I almost did a me. We have an IQ bar, banana nut. I'm also interested to see how this tastes because apparently it does have real banana in it. So well, at least you save some of the best. I know, nice. right? No. Well, I can do like I said. I can do fruit when it is banana. So okay. This bar doesn't look too bad. Okay, it, it yeah. broke nicely. It does it smell? Oh, yeah. it does smell like banana. Yeah. Even you having that, that close wrong. to my face, huh? banana. Mm, it does. You okay. Get a waft. Okay. Whoa, I love it. Oh, it tastes like a banana block from back in the day. Well, mm -hmm. to me, it tastes just like mm. banana nut bread. Mm -hmm. That's too. That too. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Nice. So that's like my favorite IQ bar I've ever had. I can tell you that because we've had a few IQ bars in the keto crates and stuff. Whoa! Wow, that Thank particular you, flavor. That was delicious. Yeah, that, I mean that is a tier yeah. one flavor. Yeah, tier one yeah, flavor. Totally. Tier two, like I'm not gonna buy them, but like it's yeah. good to know that they're there. I mean, but if you like yeah. like banana nut oh, flavor man. things and mm -hmm. are missing a banana nut flavor, there you go. That IQ bar was pretty it. dope. It was three for three net carbs. Mm. Absolutely, very, so very nice. If you're mm. smart, check out the IQ bar. No, you're Christina, you're that was welcome. horrible. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You, you can't even recognize that as like an actual joke. I think actually IQ I might bar us from. <laughs> 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 no, that's a funny pun. Hey. You see how he makes no. me laugh? No. My husband makes me laugh. No. Okay, guys. So normally we love Ross Chocolates CA, right? Okay. But the reason I kind of saved them for last is because this particular flavor is milk chocolate flavored thins with lemon, lemon coconut. coconut. Let me 
some yeah, stuff you just yeah. don't need to be mixed together. Yeah, didn't I, didn't I say that? Yeah. Rosschocolates.ca. Didn't I say that you did not need to put? Everything does not need to. Everything. Yeah, they're just like squares. Oh, chocolate squares. So the lemon is clearly like inside. So, okay. Yeah, it's baked now. It's not strong enough for me yeah. to hate it, but it is strong enough for me to wish it wasn't there. The lemon flavor, I mean. I mean, we've had some delicious Ross chocolates .ca. Mm -hmm. Um, That's my least favorite flavor. If you like lemon, I think you'll like that. Look, if you like chocolate and lemon together, which I haven't really seen them a lot know, together, say, question mark. Mix together. But you know those chocolate covered lemons for Valentine's Day? Not lemons. <laughs> if somebody gave me some chocolate covered lemons for Valentine's Day, we would not be together too much longer. Mm. Hey, hold on, give me my phone. <laughs> Cancel the order. Cancel. Cancel that order, please. No, take the lemons off. She don't want them. No, she don't want them. I'm sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all. And finally, we have these keto. Keto Logic, mm. Keto Logic, a uh, Keto Indulgence Dark Chocolate Hazelnut. They're like chocolates. So like, yeah, three times backwards on one. I know. Leg. <laughs> backwards on one. Leg. Keto Logic, Keto Logic. Mm. It's like a little Ketologic? I don't know. Packaging as well. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, it's like like little. It's already made present. Exactly. Like you can hang that from the Christmas tree or something <laughs> like that. Okay, there are two of these that come in a little pack. Well, that's Wait, nice. they're individually wrapped in here? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's like they yeah. there's a two pack. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Better. So here you can take that. Oh, you take this one? I'm gonna split it with my husband. So nice. Me and my yeah. husband gonna split it. See, uh -oh. it's like on the inside. Uh oh. I gotta prepare my teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's a fingers. hazelnut. I would not have Take expected it. Okay. I wouldn't have expected it to be like. I, I thought it would be like a smooth mm -hmm. cut, kind of like those turtles, mm -hmm. but it looks like a it looks like a three musketeer yeah, or like saying. nougaty on the but inside. But nougat, your, yeah, nougat is also soft, and this is not that. that. Chop, it was yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay. Let's go. It's like chalky. It's like a dry, yeah, a dry nougat. Yeah, it's like dry nougat. When you start to chew it, it kind of takes on a softer mm -hmm. texture. Dark chocolate candy. I'm trying to figure out, like, did they mean for it to just be that chalky, like that that hard? Like, I think so. Okay. So honestly, I guess didn't get any hazelnut in particular. I don't know if I know what a hazelnut tastes like to be like, mm, that's, that's hazelnut it. right there, mm -hmm. you know? Um, that's a tier three for me only because it confuses me. Like I'm confused by it. I don't know what sort of candy experience I was I supposed to be having there. Yeah, yeah. And I concur. Yeah. Okay. So that is it. That's all for this month's keto crave. I will say that the unboxing was more exciting than trying everything because like all of the things that I hadn't ever tried before, I was just like, meh. Like all the things that I loved, I loved. Mm -hmm. But then there were some things that like I never tried before that I was just like, mm. like the seeds and the these you know keto indulgence. I will say the only thing I hadn't tried before that was delicious was the cookie department. Um, mint condition uh, yeah. chocolate cookie. Oh, yeah. I was that just was grateful really good. that like nothing was just horrible. Nothing yeah. was, but see, here's the thing. I would have had, I would have rather had like a higher ratio of things I absolutely loved and like a couple things that were really horrible versus like, eh, you know, I feel like that was most of them this month were like, eh, you know, but like I said, love the, the high low life, love the monk pack. Yes. The IQ bar was oh, the clear that winner. That the banana nut so was the clear good. winner. Like the meat stick was bar. not amazing. No, mm -mm. Amazing. The keto crisp. super regular. The keto crisp yeah, was really amazing. good, but see, we already knew that. The everything cracker was a little like, hey, yeah. you know, like you just like don't know what to yeah. think about all of it, you know. So, overall, I mean, definitely a good good amount of bars. The the sweets alone in this crate were good enough. Keto the bar was set. That was it. Yes, the bar was. Love. You don't make a pun. Keto crisp Out of and the meat stick. Oh yeah, no. and keto wise. No, because those tasted reasons. good, exactly. Yes. But we don't, we don't reasons, box yeah, with those ingredients. Why? No, it's exactly. good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so real candy bar in there. <laughs> they stuck <laughs> 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 a real candy bar. Um, <laughs> but do you know who is going to be able to like tell us whether or not they actually really like or really dislike the stuff in this Ooh. month's keto crate? That would be the winner of this very own crate. Okay, and that person who is. is this? 
want you to tell me your thoughts. You won this. Because yes. you're a winner. I just want to oh, hear winner. like what like what you think. Am I being was I being too hard? You know, like was I was I Probably. was the bar too high? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Oh, you can throw a bar in there, but I can't. No, that's pretty I mean, funny. No, it was not. Raise the bar. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Um, okay. but congratulations. Send me an email at watchautumnketo at gmail.com with your address, and I will get this crate in the mail to you. you like and you can have a wonderfully juicy meat stick. No, no, we're, no, we're meat. done with the meat stick. The Super meat stick's not a thing. Done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, well, thanks so much for joining us uh, this month, and we'll see you next month on Smash the Crate. Yes. Bye. Goodbye, all. No, well, Literally, no, nobody wants a meat stick. Your no. We ready? Always ready, beautiful. Mm. He fell off my knee. What? Oh. He bit a piece of it off. Who? Never mind. Mm, okay. I love you, Angel. <laughs> okay. This goes for the eyes. The God, eyes so have it. The eyes have it. See, I'll give that same, one to you. Same, thank okay. You. No. No. I won't. Boy, boo.